Hi, this is Nava Dewey going live again, and I'm uh, going to talk about the steps of affirmative prayer today. Today we're going to do recognition. So the steps of uh, the science of mind, science of mind treatment, or spiritual mind treatment, is part of the science of mind um, tradition. It's in a form of affirmative prayer. And yesterday I talked about purpose, knowing the purpose of your treatment so that you know what your destination is, what you want. And today I want to talk about recognition, which is the first step of the treatment. And when I think about the word recognize, that's uh, like recognize, to know again, because we all feel, or most of us, feel that there's something bigger than us, more than us in this world. And I think it's a really important time to remember that as often as I possibly can. And so I want to know that again today with all of you. So the first part of doing your recognition step is to look at um, what, what name you like to give spirit. Do you call it Spirit? Do you call it God? Do you call it Almighty? Do you call it Lord? What is the name that resonates with you, that you like, that speaks to um, to remind you of that? Some people like the phrase Mother, Father, God. Some people like the phrase um, God. Some people like the phrase Spirit. Um, whatever works for you. Uh, you know, you can even call him Fred if you want to, if that works for you, if you're backlashing against your upbringing. So um, the name for spirit that you have, that's something to take a moment to think about if you haven't already. What, what do you like to refer to that really feels good in your heart about uh, remembering that there's more to life than all the details of everyday life? And then, the, then I also like to remember the qualities and how you describe it. So I usually have a pretty poetic way of describing in step one what spirit is for me, but it could be very matter of fact. Some people like to be very, um, you know, they don't need all the flowery language. And for me, it's just, I get more into the feeling of it and more into that place of remembering when I say things like, you know, the, I remember the stars at night and how that is, reminds me that there's something much more powerful than me, that there's something much bigger, and that each one of those stars, a lot of them are galaxies, actually. And all that space in between is not really empty. It is filled with that presence that created all of that, whether you call it the Big Bang or whether you call it God or something in between. For me, that just, that and, and other things, just remembering that it's a, a felt sense for me. But some people just like to say, you know, the infinite, eternal, ever-present, never-changing aspect. So there's the more Tao and Zen way of describing it. So whatever works for you is perfect. And then bring in the qualities. So in our example for this series, I'm using peace of mind. And so I might say, once I've got to that place of feeling, you know, that presence that is there in between the stars, in the stars, that created the stars, that created our galaxy, that created everything. It is always present. It never changes. It is the one thing that does not change no matter what's going on. It is eternal. It didn't have a beginning or an end. It is peace. And so it's peace and stillness and joy and love. These are some of the qualities of spirit. They're all the things that we yearn for in our hearts to be at home in that place. And so describing that, that's all part of step one. And so I'll do a step one for you. I've already kind of given you a taste of it. I'll do a step one for you. 
<sighs> just settling in, I remember that there's really only one thing going on here. And it is this thing we call life, we call spirit, we call the infinite. Whatever name we give it, we are pointing to that presence, that essence, that beingness that is underneath and through and behind everything that exists. It is what creates birds to fly and hearts to beat and planets to spin and everything held in its balance in perfect beauty, joy, balance, perfection and wholeness. This is the presence that is all there is. Everything arises from that. And from there I would probably go on to step two, which we'll cover next time. So, thanks for joining me, and talk to you next time.